Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. We've got a lot of things to cover this week. We're going to talk about San Diego. We're going to talk about the Mideast. And we're going to talk about Jay. Who is Jay? And what does he do? We'll find the answers to these questions and a lot more with, uh, well, Jay, Anna, and Gannam. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we are taping this during our late lunch on Thursday. That's right. So there's probably something that could happen tomorrow that we're not going to be able to cover. That's right. But then we will the following week. Oh, okay. Well, what's new this week? Well, the Arabic network, Marlon. Uh, I think a lot of folks out there know that LLVN has uh, an Arabic, all Arabic speaking channel. Uh, it broadcasts here in America, uh, North America, uh, all around the world. In areas, in some areas by satellite, it reaches other areas by the internet, it reaches other areas by IPTV, and uh, in other places where they just take the channel and repeat it through their low power TV stations. So the Arabic channel is the highlight this week. It's consuming a lot of our energy, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, where we're hearing from uh, fellow Christians and Muslims about who we are as an Adventist. Uh, they are impressed by the way our network touching their hearts with good news about Jesus. And many are accepting Jesus. Accepting Jesus. And this is encouraging news to us because uh, uh, while the LLBN Arabic channel, not necessarily one of the strongest revenue generating channels, but it's one of the strongest channels that it's reaching out to a very heavily populated areas with Arab populations. Again, Christians and Muslims. There's a big buzz on the internet who are Adventists, why they are Sabbath keepers. And that's really exciting. They're beginning to ask themselves through video programs on YouTube talking about LLBN and the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And then we have people we're hearing from who live in the United States. There's, you know, there's a large number of Arab populations, Muslims, and uh, who are learning about Jesus, learning about the Word of God through LLBN, and they feel, feel impressed. And more so, Marlon, because we don't attack their faith. We are here strictly in the business of highlighting Jesus for who He is. We're not talking about other prophets. We're not, entire focus is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So it's effectively working. It's effectively reaching out to the masses. And we're really excited about that. As a matter of fact, Hannah, you just got a, an email about yeah, that. I'll just share with Ganem an email that came in in Arabic from a gentleman named Ali. And since I didn't read Arabic, I was asking Ganem to translate it. And would you want to summarize what that letter from Ali said? Well, basically, he lives in a heavily populated Muslim neighborhood. He has accepted the Lord. He said, I got to know the Lord and I have accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And he asked for our prayers. And also he asked for more information, more educational programs about, about Christ on our network, which I'm not sure why he's asking that because the channel full 24 seven from morning to dawn and so on, all about Jesus. Bible studies, mm -hmm. sermons, me, praise music, uh, telling stories from the Bible and so on. Now I myself have witnessed requests uh, from these viewers for a, a Bible that they can read. They don't even have a Bible. This is the first first exposure, and uh, that's we get quite a few of those requests. It's not just one or two, as I recall. Makes you think that these are pretty fairly new viewers who who are new to the faith or just kind of finding out what it's about. I mean, someone asked me where to find like a Quran or something, I wouldn't have an idea where to go. And same thing with the Bible, it's so common to us, we know where to go, what sites to go, what apps to download. For someone who's really new, they really may have no idea. P particularly in the Arabic uh, language. Mm -hmm. So we have our president uh, a few days ago uh, talking about the atrocities of uh, you know, the Arab Christians. Uh, you know, the way it sounds, there are not any Arab Christians left in the Middle of the East. Well, there are, Marlon, but not as much as what it used to be. Uh, growing up in the Middle East, I mean, in, in Iraq, there was a heavy population of Christians, in, or Jordan, uh, Egypt, and they're still in some of these areas, the areas particularly, that is not being impacted by wars 
uh, who still have some government stability. But countries like Libya, Iraq, uh, um, um, Tun you know, uh, Tunis, is it, or Marrakesh? Yeah, Morocco. Morocco. Um, uh, Libya, Chad, places Sudan. like that have literally, I mean, Christians went through a complete exodus. You talk about uh, crucifixions of Christians, mm -hmm. It's, it's not a, it's not a stories from the past. It's real and reality. They're cutting heads of Christians, and they're cutting heads of Muslims also. So the attack is kind of, it's broad for anyone who doesn't believe in one particular theology or philosophy. And uh, just think about it. Uh, it's really sad, um, and uh, nothing we can do about it. The Lord is in control, but but all we can do is share the good news of Jesus as much as we can with people who need to learn about Jesus. Uh, and of course, if people want to help some of Christians in those areas, they can always send money to LLBN for that purpose that we can also forward to special private agencies to support the Christians of the Middle East. Mm. Now, we're talking about the Arabic Channel uh, right now, but uh, the Arabic Channel is not the only uh, foreign channel in the LLBN lineup. Well, we pretty much uh, cover the globe, don't we, Hannah? That's right. And all I was just telling someone the other day, um, all seven networks, because our newest Korean network, along with our Spanish, Southern Asia, Chinese, of course, our English network. Also, not to forget, we have the Health and Lifestyle Network, Smart Lifestyle TV, that's really having its own ministry, outreaching to a whole another group of people with the health message and how just to live a happier, healthier life. So with all of these television networks, isn't there a danger that the Arabic channel is going to get lost uh, as far as support is concerned? I mean, these are really, all these channels we mentioned are kind of like standalone channels. They're supposed to yeah. support themselves. Is, is that happening amongst the, let's just talk about the Arabic channel. Well, well, Jay can correct me. I mean, it comes and goes. Gifts in different sizes comes in through all the networks. But I tip my hat off to all our American brothers and sisters, because this is where the money comes from, America. America is the drive behind our outreach. Uh, that's where the loyal audience who have the funding, who has the heart, the will, and the kindness to give and give and give. And because of that given, we have constantly increased our capacity of languages. And the Arabic channel, uh, Jake can talk about that. We've yeah. just got a very nice piano gifted uh, from a, an Iraqi Adventist family. Uh, from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nahab, uh, Mr. Basil and Jewel Nahab, and her brother Roy Fargo, who gifted this very nice grand piano yes. to us, as well as we've been given several trusts from Correct. different groups. Well, Ganem, I want to tell you there have there are several families out there who are in the Arabic uh, community who in, here in America who are helping and doing a great part in helping this network to stay on the air, especially. Uh, the Arabic network and and as you said this was a, a very wonderful gift from some uh, two Arab family Arabic families uh, of, of this baby grand piano and I'll tell you it uh, was a very needed thing to have here it, it's definitely bringing uh, quality uh, music to this uh, studio and it was much needed to replace the other uh, instrument we had been using for many years yeah. So yes, we do have a, a number of good, uh, strong supporters in the Arab community, and we want to thank you all for what you are doing and uh, helping us to continue to, to do this work. You may recognize his voice, Jay Hughes. He's the guy that calls you to talk to you about LLBN and uh, your support thereof. And, you know, we have been really struggling the last few months. It, something has just fallen off. Uh, what, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, that's a good question, Marlon. I haven't really given much thought because every year our viewers and our donors come through by the end of the year and help us rebalance our financial conditions. Um, you know, part of it may be uh, the economy. Part of it is uh, people or, you know, there's so many ministries out there. Uh, there, was a day, there were the days when there were two or three Adventist ministries on the air and fewer Christian channels. Now they're dime a dozen, and it's a good thing that's dime a dozen. That's a very good thing because the, as being prophesied in the Bible, the, the gospel will be preached to all nations, and that's exactly what's going on. Uh, but um, 
you know, it's in the Lord's hand. Our viewers are loyal. Um, our understanding that this ministry of LLBN is not supported by any local organization. It stands on its own feet. It's fully supported 100% by the viewers. Uh, we don't have any churches, universities, or hospitals, or conferences. Uh, gives us a dime to this ministry. So it's a miracle. And with that miracle been repeating itself for the last 20 years, yeah. we very much kind of trust in the Lord and, and he just keeps the money rolling in, mm -hmm. not to go in our pockets, but to go into the ministry for an outreach. Mm -hmm. And that's why we say that, uh, you know, like, who's the cattle on a thousand hills belong to? Well, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's why we really appreciate your prayers for support, uh, because that has just uh, as much power, or maybe more power, Amen. than just the actual dollar. Now, Jay, what has your, been your experience in talking with our viewers? Well, um, there we have several hundred, uh, over, you know, several hundred of people who come monthly to uh, give a regular donations, and uh, I get the chance to talk to them, and, and they love this work as much as, as uh, every one of us here, and, uh, and are just excited to be part of it and do their best, and uh, it's wonderful to connect with them and, and hear. What, what are your spe areas of specialty? What, what do you well, really like trust to do? services, of course. Um, anyone that doesn't have a will in, in place or a trust uh, to take care of their estate, um, and... Uh, there's other ways that I can help you with uh, financial questions as far as uh, what you can do to help yeah. in increase your retirement income and that type of thing. Of course, you can get into that with me when you call. What but, number should they use to call yeah, you? Yeah, it's a 909-651-5543. That's my direct number. Anytime, give me a call anytime. I'd love to hear from anyone. That number that again? Has questions. 909-651-5543. Well, thank you, Jay. Certainly. Let's talk about San Diego just for uh, in a few minutes remaining. Why is that important to LLBN San Diego? Oh, well, uh, San Diego hosts a large population of Arabs. Uh, it's, the weather is very similar to the Middle East weather, and you find a lot of uh, 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 Arabs just immigrate to San Diego, and uh, there are several hundred thousand of them there, and there's a large viewership of the LLBN Arabic in that area. As a matter of fact, there are several individuals right now working with us to get the channel into the local cable. Mm -hmm. We were there once before. We were taken out because other faith believers objected having a channel, a Christian channel on the cable system, mm -hmm. especially when it speaks of the Sabbath. So uh, we're no longer on the cable system, but we're into other distribution systems in San Diego. But now we're working back in concert to put us back on the local cable, and it looks very, very promising again. But there are several other pockets around the U.S. where there's dense populations of Arab population live there, and uh, we are very pleased to say we're also reaching out to all these populations. But you know, Marlon, it's interesting with this day, age of satellite, internet, IPTV, and so on, we have people who watch the Arabic church service all the way from Australia down to Kuwait. And there just seems to be no more geographical separations between this world mm -hmm. and the word of God is just seeping out to whatever is intended mm -hmm. to reach, mm -hmm. not by our own power, but the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Six seconds left, Hannah. <laughs> What do you need to say to our viewers? <laughs> you got to quit asking me. Around the world. <laughs> oh, I just want to thank our viewers for the letters. Um, one here that kind of reflects what we've been talking about says, A prayer for the Albion ministry that God will continue to bless the network to enlighten the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank you, Virginia, for that prayer. And that's a prayer of our hearts as well. So Amen. thank you for joining us with us in this ministry. And we're so blessed to have you as our part of our family, our viewers here at the Loma Linda Broadcast Network. Until next time. This is Working Review.